Hey, how's it going? Miles here at Tactile Hive and welcome back to the series. Remember this week is a little bit uh, changed up. Typically we do Monday dry fire then Thursday live fire, but this week we're doing Thursday. We did Thursday dry fire, Sunday live fire. Okay, so we will come back to a regular programming uh, starting tomorrow. That said, today, if you followed what we did on Thursday and you did the dry fire correctly, it, it, this live fire session should be very easy because all we are doing is we're gonna do the same exact thing, but now we're actually shooting live rounds. Remember, the focus is on constant speed and minimal effort. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up everything the same as we did on dry fire. So if you were shooting a very small target from three yards, set up something like that as well for live fire. If you did four yards, then do four yards. All right, so I have my target down range. I have that same pacer as I did Thursday because last the Thursday was dry fire. Now we're going to use actual ammunition and do the same exact thing. We're not gonna use a timer to start. What you want to do though is take the shots, okay, as fast as you can be accurate, okay? Now if it's very slow in the beginning, that's okay. You're going to work up your speed. But the idea is that you don't need to wait for your sight to settle or your red dot to settle on that target and be perfectly still, okay? You can for a red dot or for the front sight, all you're looking for is that to come over the target and then if you follow proper trigger control principles, and assuming your grip is good, your, your platform is good, you're not shaky, you're gonna hit your target. So I'm gonna start off, I'm gonna load and make ready, and I'll talk about this. So I have a target about four yards, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna aim in, okay? I've prepped my trigger, if you wanna start there, you can. And then from here, I'm gonna take two shots, okay? So the target's a little windy, so I might be off a little bit, it keeps on moving here. So let's try it again here, or let's try it here. No timer here, okay? So that was about maybe a little bit more than a quarter second pace and that's okay to start. For you, if you're much longer, that's fine. The whole idea here is that we want to take multiple shots to truly test our trigger control, okay? So it's easier to take single shots. So now we want to take two shots. So I'm here again, I'm going to look at my target. So it's a little bit low there. Now that to me is unacceptable, okay? Because I know I can actually hit the pacer all the time. Now for those of you, if you're just starting, that might be completely fine because you, this might be the first time you're ever holding yourself to a really high standard to hit a, uh, a one inch paster, okay? So now we're gonna do the same exact thing here and then we're gonna keep it at two shots. Okay, all are touching the paster, but to me I can get, you know, I can do better there. This is all you're gonna be doing and then speed it up. Now here's something that you don't wanna do, okay? Notice why I said you wanna shoot at a speed where it's fast, but you can still be accurate, okay? I want you to push to speed, but be accurate. If you start doing this, this is incorrect. So the first shot was good, but then the other one is just completely off. So you don't need to go so fast to the point where you're missing, but it's a balancing act, okay? You're gonna have to find out, you know, what that speed is, and then as you get better, and as your trigger control gets better, you'll be able to speed things up. Now, after you've done this a number of times, we need data. Now, for this exercise, I want you guys to use a shot timer. Lots of different shot timers here, out there. Right now, this is the Shooter Global, I'm using the Shooter's Global Smart Timer. And what I'm going to do is I'm using this for split times, okay? So I'm going to start this and then see what my split time is, okay? Here we go. Okay, so my split time there was a 0.49. So what I wanna do is I want to try and improve that, okay, or, or be faster. Now, don't get discouraged if you're not faster. This is the first time you're doing this. You can speed it up little by little again, but we want the timer to give us data. Okay, so that was faster. That was a 0.35, but my shot was about an inch high. Is that good? Is that bad? It depends on your skill level. For you, one inch above your target might be completely acceptable, all right? As you get good, for me, I know that's, you know, I'm not happy with that, so I'm gonna give it another go, okay? And try to keep the same part-time here.
and that was better. That was accurate, and that, that was slower than my previous run where I got one shot up, but it was faster than my, my, first, my initial runs and even my dry fire runs, and so that was a point four six with both right in the center. Okay, so you guys get the idea here. It's a very simple drill, and if you want to, so I'm out of ammo here. I actually have one in the chamber. If you want to, you can do three shots. That is going to further test if you're really just moving your trigger finger. If you begin to miss, remember, it's, it, you know, something's happening. The sights are not on target. Either it's because you're, yeah, you don't have a stable platform, your grip is breaking down, or your, again, your trigger finger or your trigger control isn't that great. So if you're having problems, don't get discouraged. It can all be fixed during dry fire. That wraps up today's live fire session. You can do it for as many rounds as you want to, for as long as you want to, but don't think about just throwing rounds down range. You have to be learning from each rep, okay? Did you, you know, really, really pay attention to what you're doing with your trigger? Did you miss because you, you know, your platform was off? Really be hyper-focused in your training, then you're gonna get a lot more out of it. I hope you guys liked the video. As always, please leave us some comments below. Let us know what you wanna see. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. See you guys next week.